Please again. There are steps around that side, apparently, I'm told. Um, <laughs> and Francis is going to tell us about um, Yagni, or keeping your yak warm, he said to me in the break. So, um, so if any of you have got yaks, you should pay a special attention to this. <laughs> This is the five-minute version of a talk I'm going to give at Agile North next uh, next Thursday, actually. Um, Yagni, it's, it's just a, an acronym. You ain't going to need it. Come on, slide. Change. Change. Ah, good. I originally got it from this book um, by Kent Beck called Extreme Programming Explained. Essentially, one of his team built this enormously clever dialogue box, and it was loads, loads of time and really hard to build, and nobody used it. And so he turned around to this guy and said, you ain't going to need it. And you get this when people say, but what if? But what if it's blue? But what if somebody comes from over here? But what if this happens? But what if that happens? And you end up building this whole layer of complexity that you don't actually need. And you know, it, it's, the, the answer to you should always do to but what, what if is no. And, and no means no. You should never actually just start including stuff because somebody thinks it's a good idea. Um, stuff needs to kind of um, justify its existence. One of the things we love to do as human beings is we complify. Um, this is a lovely made-up word, where we just make things far too complicated. Like here's a Swindon's magic roundabout. Uh, I also love the picture at the bottom there, which is people trying to use it. See that yellow thing? He's, which, where the hell's he facing? Um, in order to get past complification, you need to actually take a step back and go to the big picture. Uh, and one of the techniques is five whys. We just keep asking why until you get to the real reason for things. Um, the guy that owns Amazon, Jeff Bezos, is a great... Um, proponent of this. Simplication, which is another made up word, um, is actually what you need to do to take back, take a few steps back and actually attack your ignorance. Uh, so we have this lovely picture of this penguin here. And evolution as well. You only keep hold of something if it can justify its existence. Um, so, you know, kill it off if it's no use. Um, I think it's, it's quite useful. Obviously, that obviously lived long enough to become a fossil. Um, so when everybody says, but what if, you need to reply, but will it? And you need to say no most of the time. Um, and that, you know, so Gagney is this whole idea. You ain't going to need it. And it, it, you need, things need to justify their existence before you invest any time. The other thing ab about the people do is they procrastinate. They do stuff they don't need to do um, because it's actually the problem they're looking at is a bit too hard. Um, this is a yak from Ren and Stimpy. They had an international yak, saving, yak shaving day. Yak shaving is actually an Americanism that uh, comes from MIT. You never get to read this, but essentially you start to do one thing and then you need to do something else, and then you need to do something else, and you need to do something else, and you need to do something else, and the thing you're trying to do never happens. You tend to get into this mode when you're on your own and you're not thinking and you're not talking to other people about what you need to do. You tend to, that's when you tend to run off down a little path on your own. And in Agile software, we tend to work in pairs. Um, this is just, BDUF is actually what I wanted, big design up front, which is one of the, um, the things that people do, where you do all the thinking first, and then you build whatever is you build, or write whatever it is you're writing. Um, and uh, the idea of this is, you know, what instead you do is identify the, the, the Pareto thing, the 20% you need to do to get the 80% of the results and just do that. And it's quite hard to work, actually identify what that 20% is, but 20% is all you need to do most of the time, unless you're doing something like you know, medical software or whatever, and you don't, you know, people might die. But most of the time, if you're running a business, if you're writing a book, if you're putting a play on, find the 20% that's the important 20%, and that's all you need to do. In the Agile Manifesto, um, they actually talk about maximizing the work not done. You know, not done. Maximum, work out what you don't need to do and don't do it. Um, creative laziness, you know, only do the 20%. That's the important thing. It, it, it's actually much harder than it sounds, I think. I think it's one of the problems uh, that people have. And Yagni can also be used as a kind of bullying technique. But the 20% is something you must be able to ship, to actually get out the door that actually has some meaning, some use, some utility. And there's a really nice t-shirt that I'm gonna knit. I wanna get one that's coming up in a second. Keep calm and ship it. So yes, 
identify you ain't what you ain't going to need. Don't do it. But what you do do, make sure it's something that's worth doing. And you can ship and you can get out the door and people can use um, or the project. And this, again, is just the, the Pareto thing. 20% gives 80%. But make sure that you've identified the right 20% and you're not just sitting on the floor going, oh, well, I'll only do this bit because it's the easy bit, you know, which is the IBM approach. That's it. Thank you very much, Francis. Um, and I, I, you know, looking forward to how much more productive Liverpool is going to be over the coming months as everyone puts all of that into practice. And either we just get everybody kind of like having four days a week off, because that's the kind of like 20% they've done on Monday, or maybe a different day. You know, pick a pick a day that you kind of don't mind going into work rather than Monday. Um, <laughs> yeah, every yeah. Superb. So our next speaker is uh, Beth Edmondson. And uh, 